Hey, what's up? This is Kevin from Kevin's Barbecue Joints, and in this episode, I am lucky enough to talk to Tootsie from Snow's Barbecue in Lexington, Texas. You're going to love this interview. It's so so great. I am tremendously honored to have a chance that she even took 20, 25 minutes of her time to talk to me, but that's the kind of person she is. She's humble, hardworking, value-minded person, and it's, it's all going to come through on this interview. She talks about her history, talks about the early days of Snow's Barbecue, about Texas Monthly and what it was like when they got uh, rated number one on the list. They've been rated number one twice, number two one time, and uh, it's just phenomenal uh i want to thank clay calgill for he's over there at, at snows for setting this up really do appreciate it and uh carrie thank you for everything you do please visit snows barbecue it's they're only open on saturdays it's not a far trip from austin and it's well worth the trip and just to let you know uh, at the very beginning we were having some issues with the um with the the phone it was it was a little bit low on her face but we got that sorted out halfway through and a uh, full shot of her and her expressions and just uh, I love it. So please let me know what you think in the comments below. Please subscribe. I'll be adding at least one of these interviews per week, but enjoy this. Well, good evening, Tissy. Thank you so much for doing this. Well, thank you for asking me to do this for you. You're in California? I'm in Los Angeles. Yeah, I'm in California. And, okay. uh, I, I, I've been there before. You were, It was a busy day, and I didn't get a chance to meet you. But I uh, next time I come out, I'll definitely uh, meet you in okay. person. I was here though that day. Uh, you, you were here that day. Yeah, it was. It okay. was just. It was a crazy day, and I had to get out. I had to leave early, so it wasn't. I didn't have a chance. But now I know I can bother you. <laughs> well, uh, so I wanted to know. I, I, I tried to work it in. Yeah. No. I, you're. You and Carrie and Claire are probably some of the most gracious people out there. So I, we do appreciate it from the barbecue community for sure. Well, that's a lot of our Southern Texas hospitality. <laughs> that, that one, most definitely. Well, I wanted to just get a little bit into your history. I talked to Pat Sharp um, about a couple of weeks ago and it was, just, I wanted to also get into what it was like when you guys were the first, were top of the list. What it was it? Six, 14 years ago, the three, two Texas months ago. I think it was. Uh, yes, it was in 2008. 2008. Well, let's oh. let's go to that then. Jump, maybe jump back to your history. What was that like when you found out that you were the top? Well, it was quite a shock. I mean, there again, as I do nothing about the James Beard, I knew nothing about Texas Monthly. Um, I didn't know go, they go around and taste checking out foods and so forth. So that was a complete new experience for me. Um, Carrie had made the remark, Texas Monthly was here today, or. Texas Monthly's coming today again, and well, that's just another name for me. I was busy cooking out here because at that time I did all the barbecuing by myself, and Carrie and and Miss Phyllis and the girls were inside. It was just the the three of us and his two daughters when we started. Well, they um, told us that uh, business would increase and we would have a lot of business, and Carrie added on to the pit. And we had to set up a new cash register and <laughs> more help out here at the uh, pit, which was a long line when we first started out. It, well, we've always had a line to uh, purchase barbecue or eat barbecue here. So at, at the beginning, when you when you first, what year was, a, when did Kerry open it? We opened here in 2003, March the 1st of 2003. 2003. And, uh, bef and before then, you were you were working, right, what, sit at City Market or were? Uh, actually, my husband and husband. I had a market from 1976 to 1996, at which time he suffered a stroke. Oh, I'm so sorry. And sold the meat market. Okay. And the people that bought it out were a grocery store just down the street so they asked if I would continue cooking barbecue for them mm -hmm. on Saturdays and I graciously consented to that because I enjoy doing barbecue and then Carrie came by and wanted to open up over here where we are now located with snows and uh, I told him I said well I've given my word and, and I don't back out uh, you know it's mm -hmm. in stuff I'm, my word is my truth and mm -hmm. I don't change it and after a couple of years he came by and i told him i said if you're still interested in opening up a new business i said let's sit down and talk and we did that in november of 2002 okay and set march the first of 2003 as our opening day 
Okay. He built up the pits according to the pits that I was used to cooking on. And uh, we never had to have barbecue. We would have some barbecue early, ready early. Mm -hmm. But actually, the brisket was never ready until around 10 or 10.30 because I only put it on at 2 o'clock when I would get here (laughs) on Saturday. Okay. When we uh, got started then in 2008, uh, Kerry came outside here. He hired some more help on the inside. And I made the remark to my youngest son that uh, there was a line of people waiting to buy barbecue at 8 o'clock on Saturday morning. <laughs> he had a uh, weekday job. So on Saturday, he came by just to nose and see how big the crowd was here. And he would help me. I would tell him I needed sausage or I needed wood or Something that I needed and could help because he had help when we, uh, my husband and I had our market. So Kerry asked him to help and, and he graciously consented to that. <laughs> that helped and out a lot, I'm sure. It helped out a lot. Mm-hmm. Of course, we lost him in 2016 to brain cancer. Oh, uh, I'm so Martin. sorry. We uh, found out he had brain cancer and, and uh, oh. that's when we hired Clay then to come on the ramp okay. and help us out. That's the transition. I have, I have two other children besides the one that passed away, though. Okay. Do they work at all at the restaurant? No. No. They no. don't work here. Do they come by no. at all? Very seldom. <laughs> uh, the son has just retired from the uh, highway department, and the daughter works for a bank here in Lexington. Okay. So uh, they have their own jobs. And, and uh, my husband and I had cattle. So when he passed away in December of 15, uh, the son began helping me with the cattle. So that's his part-time job now is help me with the cattle. How much cattle How much cattle do you have? I think I've got 20 mama cows. 20 mama cows? Oh, that's, is that close by? <laughs> yeah, they're close by, three miles from here. Oh, okay. I was born and raised here in Lexington. Okay. So uh, this is home for me. <laughs> And, and at the beginning, was it mostly locals, or was it people coming from, were people making the trip, like an hour trip? Uh, when, when we first opened up here at Snow's, it was just local people. Mm-hmm. Local people is all we've had. We had no outsiders, or a few, very few outsiders, uh, up till 2008. <laughs> and then everything <laughs> changed after that. Yeah. Now, and in fact... The locals got mad because they would, were used to coming in around 10, 11 o'clock and getting their barbecue, and it was a line, and they couldn't get barbecue, or we would be sold out. So uh, we had to tell them that they have to call in or come to the pit, and we can fix them up there. It's been a lot of changes made. Oh, yeah, for sure. <laughs> yeah. When uh, Texas Monthly asked what time we opened, and Kerry said 8 o'clock, and I thought, oh, my gosh, Kerry. I don't have nothing ready or very little ready at that time. We're going to have to rearrange our timing. And that's what we had to do, start putting it on earlier. And that's where Hershey came in real handy. He worked till 3 o'clock at his day job, and he'd go home and take him a nap and uh, come back up here at 9 o'clock to start the fire and put the briskets on. So When did you guys start doing the shipping? Uh, soon after we opened. Oh, really? I, I didn't know that. exactly how soon, but it was soon after we opened. Whenever we would have meats left, he had to do something with it. And he uh, asked different barbecue places, and they talked about shipping. So he got into the shipping business at that time. And it's now it's it's a pretty it's a pretty solid business. I know Clay comes in during the week, right? For And I guess you're in today, too. Yes. Uh-huh. Yeah, we're, he's, he's going to cook tonight again. Okay. Okay. Uh, Usually every other week or every third week, I think he's cooking for shipping, and uh, it has done real well. And so, what, what's this? What's your schedule during the week? You have another job, right? I work for the Giddings Public School in the maintenance and grounds department, and uh, so I stay busy all the time. <laughs> I work there five days a week, barbecue on Saturday, and. Sunday I go to church and rest. <laughs> so what is what does barbecue mean to you? Do you think that that do you think this is has given you a, a certain vitality? Do you think I've I've always wondered what is it is it something that you look to, still look forward to? I really do. Yes, um, I got into it by accident, and uh, 
then after uh, well the gentleman that owned the meat market in Giddings where I started barbecuing in 1966 bought a meat market here in Lexington me being from Lexington he sent me up here to operate it for him and I enjoyed it so well that uh, I convinced my husband that we should buy it and that's what we did okay. and operated it for 20 years then really had to to uh, get down and learn what what to do with barbecue and how to barbecue because in getting there was an elderly gentleman that barbecued so I was just a helper there selling oh really okay oh I didn't know so you were, when did you start cooking were you cooking at Giddings at all at the city meat market in yeah. Giddings yes in yeah. 1966 were you actually cooking the whole time uh not a whole lot I no. was I would watch him but actually I was doing a lot of the sales play Every so often, I've got a, a word coming across here. Is that okay? You got a what? There, there's some print comes across here. That's probably somebody message. That's probably oh, a, text, that. a text from someone. Okay. Um, what does it say? You can still see me. I, I can see you. I can fine, see yeah. you, though. I think it's my barbecue group chat you were talking about with Leonard. Uh, <laughs> I know. I, I, is true? Is uh, Bert on that? Yeah, I think so. <laughs> yeah, I'm sorry. I don't know how to turn it off now that we're on Skype. So. That's okay. This not we're we're right. We'll just keep on and hope it doesn't bother anything. I don't see I don't see it on my side at all. So it's it's I don't see it here. So it's okay. Okay, he can't see it, Tootsie. Oh, he can't. No, he, okay. no, it's on on your screen. Oh, so. okay. It's a okay. yeah. It's okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> well. <laughs> I, for, be, before I forget, I, w I just wanted to say that the people I've talked to a number of people in Los Angeles and said that I'm going to be talking to you today, and everyone said to send their love. It's it's amazing, and, and I pr you probably don't real and you probably realize that your love, but there's people in Los Angeles that that truly love you and look forward to seeing you. Well, a lot of people have been here from California, and I have thoroughly enjoyed visiting with them, and uh, you know, I hope hope they keep coming back because. Oh, I enjoy meeting the the people from all over the world, all over the United States, and so it's uh, like I said, I enjoy barbecuing and enjoy meeting pe people. Is it does it surprise you how popular barbecue has become? Yes, it has been. You know, used to you'd always say a new store would open up and it'll last for a couple of months, and the new wears off and it'll get back to a regular situation. But now with the barbecue situation, it's been completely different. Of course, we've been number one twice. Mm -hmm. We've been uh, second once. Uh, in February, I was on, on the list for the uh, James Beard Award. I saw that. Among the top 200. Wonderful. And then I got in the top 20, which is just amazing and fabulous that I'm that well known in the United States. <laughs> you are. So, not upset by not getting in the top five because <laughs> it has been wonderful just to be recognized in the top twenty. I got to thank God for that. Well, and 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 yeah, thank God, and you deserve it. You definitely deserve it. It's and you're and it's amazing too. Like you become an icon in our in our business and in our, our world, which is it's it's fabulous. It's it your hard work pays off. People, it, you're an inspiration to a lot of people because a lot of people think about maybe retiring in their sixty late sixties or seventies, and and look at you. You've you're working hard in your eighties. Well, that's true. I mean, I really don't plan on retiring. I'm, no, I'm not planning on retiring. No. Uh, I just hope that my health continues on. I know I won't live forever. I have to have to say that because uh, we hope you do. Just enjoy it. <laughs> What's when did you guys do, did you do pork steak from the beginning? Yes, we do pork steaks. Mm -hmm. They're about two and a half inches thick. It's the Boston butt cut into three sections, and uh, we cook that every Saturday. Is we that... have pork ribs, pork. chicken, brisket. Um, sausage and sausage, right? Turkey breast also and sausage. And sausage. Yeah. What's your favorite item? I don't have a favorite. I enjoy all of it. <laughs> really? Uh, okay. Sometimes I eat chicken. Sometimes I eat pork. Sometimes I eat brisket. I, I I change my menu every week, so I have no favorite. <laughs> and what what's what do you eat other than barbecue? What's your favorite thing to eat? What if you had to cook? A, or what was your favorite meal growing up? I guess it was the steak, beef steak. Mm -hmm. Because we raised our own, uh, butchered our own cattle, 
okay. uh, to put in the deep freeze, and we'd also butcher hogs in the winter time. So uh, beef and pork were my chick uh, were my favorite. Of course, we raised chickens, so we also butchered chickens and had those in the deep freeze. So uh, being raised in the country and on a farm, we ate all <laughs> different types of meat. You guys were only open Saturday. Were you planning on only being open Saturday, first off? Is that something that you guys were always planning on doing? Lexington has always had barbecue on Saturday. Okay. So that's just a tradition for Lexington. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. Yeah. Cool. And as a little girl, I can remember Dad would come to town on Saturdays, and uh, Mother would have him to bring some barbecue, or he would pick up some barbecue for us. And that was always a treat for us to have barbecue on Saturdays when Dad had come to town. and. So oh, cattle, and eggs, and so forth. Yeah. Oh, wow. So it's a very good tradition that has been carried on here in Lexington. And we're just continuing on. And at the same time, all the employees here have jobs during the week. So Saturday is the only time we're available. And that must be fun, too, for them to work on it, to know that Saturday's coming up, it's, it's barbecue time, and then they have to go back to their regular life and then mm-hmm. come back to that world. You know, if you would do it every day, Hershey always said, or people would ask, well, are y'all going to open up more than one day a week? And Hershey would say, one day a week, it's fun, and after that, it's work. So that's kind of a good standby to, to realize. Uh, well, for a while, it's fun, but you get it too much, and it's work then. Still work as far as that goes. It's not all easy fly by no watching you move it's not it's you're definitely <laughs> work it's, it's a lot of exercise what do you recommend yep. to people that people that are aspiring to do what you do is that something you'd recommend or do you think they should take a strong look at it and know that they're going to be putting a lot of hours in well it, it's a lot of work in it but at the same time you have to be able to uh, give of yourself to make a success out of it so I say it takes a lot of tender, loving care to be uh, prosperous at whatever you want to be. That's true. That's very true. For anything. Yeah. Mm-hmm. For any any type job. I mean, you have to put your heart into it and, and uh, really accept as it comes and, and make the best of it. There's there's down days and as well as up days, but... Uh, you have to have a lot of tender love and care with you. That's for sure. Well, that's a great way to end this. I, I, I really appreciate everything you do. I love you, Tootsie, and thank you for taking the time. And uh, I'll, I'll visit you. I'll be out there in about a month or so, so I'll come out and, and see you. All right. That sounds good. Thank you, and thank Clay. I for... think we'll be closed the first Sunday, I mean, first Saturday in May. Okay. And I haven't heard about Fourth of July yet, so you t- keep in touch with Clay on that. Okay. Every once in a while, we do close up for Fourth of July, okay. depending on falls. So excellent. Yeah, I yeah. That far I, don't, I haven't looked that far either. <laughs> well, yeah. well, thank you so much. Have, have okay. a great, have a great day, and have a great week. Thank you. Same thank you. to you. Thank you. Okay.